Hello, welcome back to the channel, it's great to see you all. Today I really wanted to give these dangles a go. I have seen so many people making these, I will try to link as many as I can in the description box. Um, I don't know who the original creator is, so it's only the ladies that I've seen make it, but I've seen some gorgeous versions of these. When I was choosing my bits and pieces from BB Crafts, I had this project in mind, so that's why I picked the selection box of these beads. Um, and also the tassels but I actually found the little bag of findings and this elastic that come in the kit with this are really great for this project so I thought I'd come on here and show you the way that I've been making these to make these ones you literally need this kit from BB Crafts which will be linked down below and some tassels I got these ones again from BB Crafts but you could use ones you have in your stash I am using these pliers but you could probably do it by hand it's only to close the little clasp so and then I've added in a few of my own little beads, but they're not necessary. It's just whatever you have on hand. But this kit is brilliant for this project. So you just want to cut yourself a piece of this elastic. We're going to double it up so it needs to be a decent length. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's just sort of that long. I probably could have done it a little bit longer, but that will do for now. And then I'll choose one of these tassels. I'm not sure what colours I want to go for. So these ones have got the little spacer beads, which are also from BB Crafts, on those. And I want to try and make one to match this, but different colours, like this sort of style. So I think I'm going to go for... I think I'm going to go for this little yellow tassel. Because these beads are such gorgeous sort of pastels and things. I think that will go really well. First up... You want to take this out of the little protective plastic that it's inside. I find that really handy because it keeps them really nice. I might even keep the plastic and put some tassels in it that I'm sending and things. Put the elastic through the little finding at the top, little um, jump ring, that's what word I'm looking for. And double it up like that. Literally that easy. Then you want to put on your first bead. So let me have a quick look through here. I'm working off of this design just for speed <laughs> so that I'm not here for ages showing you guys but I think I'm going to have the big yellow one to match obviously I need the little oh these are going all over the place sorry so the little heart will need that one will go next I don't know if that matches I might grab another different bead instead um what should we have down the bottom maybe pink medium sized pink one that might look quite nice and then I guess we could use one of these if I choose these are like mermaid type beads they are from Aliexpress they're sort of blue and pink and white but depending on which one you pick out of the box it gets a different sort of mix of the colours so I'll just see if I can find one that's mostly pink and white so that one's got a little bit of blue on it but it's more pink than Oop, anything else I might use that one I really need to invest in some more like different beads like this one but this is a really great starter kit so if I'm gonna have that one I will need one more at the top I will go for go for that bluey one might match the blue on this or I might switch those around go for pink at the top and then go for a mid-sized blue one at the bottom yeah rolling away again that's why this little container is so handy so you don't have to sort them all or anything they're all already done for you so like I said you just want to double up your elastic and then thread on your first bead you can take these off and rearrange them as many times as you like nothing is final until you put the clasp on at the end so don't worry too much about it So this is how your tassel will look when it's complete. The next thing you need to do, we can probably get your findings out first. So the best way that I've actually found to do this, there's like a little finding in here, let me grab it for you, that looks like this. 
I will try and find out what they're actually called but obviously I just got a few in this set and they are perfect to make these so I'll grab that out and then a little lobster claw clasp you could just so you put this on the top of the tassel you could then just put a jump ring on if you want but I like these little claw clasps for disclosure this is not the original ending I finished this charm in real time um, earlier on and then I looked to see what these little tips were like these little findings were called and it turns out they are called bead tips if anyone is interested these particular ones are clamshell bead tips and while I was looking up the name I looked up how to use them properly and it turns out there is a much easier way than the way that I was doing it. So I've come back on, I've made a new tassel to show you the better way to add the bead tip. This is our finished tassel from earlier, this is the one that we're working on now. So you want to take your bead tip, when you look at this, this is upside down obviously, there is a tiny hole in between the two, in between like the clamshell part. I'm really hoping that's showing that to you properly. So what you want to do is thread your tassel up through there. So you want to have it this way up and you want to thread it through the bottom. There we go, it just goes through like that and then it will sit nicely on the top of your tassel. Then you want to tie a knot in this. So you could tie, um, you could sort of tie them both together or whatever, but I'm just gonna go for a standard knot. It's easier to show you on here. You can add some glue inside the bead tip. Um, people recommend things like E6000, that sort of thing, which I have got, so I'm gonna give that a go. But hopefully this will help with the tension on here as well because it will be easier to uh, make sure that it's in the right place when you tie it this way. So I'm going to add some glue inside here. It's really hard to show you because obviously I'm working this way. <laughs> I have added the E6000 just literally in this little circle piece here. It's not very neat but dries clear so it's okay and then you just want to push this clamshell part closed you could do this with your fingers but I find it easier with the pliers so that's what we're going with and then there's some glue on there Let's just wipe that off and then you just want to cut the excess string away you could do this before you close it but it doesn't really make a big difference when it holds it quite nicely either way I just find this way easier to do there we go and then it is attached nicely onto this little bead tip then if you want to add it onto a lobster claw clasp which is what I did last time you can grab one of those or you can use a jump ring so I'll show you both but I'm going to use the jump ring this time because I have a project in mind for this one and that's what I need to attach it so so this one was the claw lobster claw clasp sorry so if you were doing that one you literally just hook that through and then push this hook closed I'll try and show you on the side hopefully that looks a bit easier to see that way or with the jump ring same sort of thing hook it through and then pinch it closed with your pliers I don't know, I think you could probably do this with your fingers, but I've got them on my desk, so I may as well use them. Probably using the wrong pliers for this, really. Probably want the flat ones. There we go. And then it is attached on there like that. It really is that simple. You could definitely add a jump ring and then add the lobster claw if you wanted to. Um, like I said, I've got a project in mind for this one, so I don't need the lobster claw clasp on it. So I'm going to leave it with the jump ring. But these are the two that we have created. Hopefully you found that easy enough to follow. I'd love to see your creations, so please do make sure to tag me if you make these. I like seeing everyone's different interpretations of them. And I'm sure I will be making loads more in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like this video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to see my future stuff. And leave me a comment. I love chatting to you guys. See you soon. Bye.